just type install r install r c r a n i'm going for the first search engine download r 4.3.3 download r 4.3.3 for windows please just read here it is 79 megabits okay, size of the file and 64 bit the people those are using a uh, 32 bit you may not, you may not be able to install it properly you may not be able to install it properly just click on and in case we are using mac version you can also see other other versions as i'm going to use uh, windows version i'm just clicking on windows i'm just using windows version okay Just click on download R 4.3.3 for Windows. Just save it on your desktop. Just save it on your desktop. As you can see here, it started downloading R. In order to use the Biblio Shiny app, first we have to install R. After successfully installing R, we have to install R Studio. After successfully installing both R and R Studio, then we have to open Biblio Shiny. Okay. okay, as you can see here, okay, we have done with the R. Okay, just uh, double click on it. Just click on open it. After downloading the R software, I just clicked on open. Now it's asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click on yes. Uh, shall I go ahead? I hope you are able to follow me. Shall I go to the installation part? Yes, sir. Shall I wait for yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now select setup language English. Now, if you time permits, let's uh, just go through that. I will just click on next. It is showing that where it is going to save the file. Just click on next. You are not going to make any changes. It is showing the features of the. R windows main files what is the size of the file 64 bit and message translations in this particular step just click on next now startup option please just look at here don't simply click on next now here please specify yes or no then click next do you want to customize the startup options just say yes i just want uh, customize options so i'm just clicking on next yes after selecting the yes, just click on next. Display mode. I want, I'm just selecting the first one. By default, it's already there, MDI. So just go, go ahead with the MDI by default. Okay. Next. Now, help style. I just want plain text. Please specify the plain text. Uh, just click on plain text. Next. Select the startup menu folder. It is showing the R. There's a particular menu folder. Just click on next. And select additional task. So I'm also selecting create a quick launch shortcut. If you want to do it, you can also select it. Otherwise, just it's not an issue. So I have selected a uh, create a desktop shortcut. In addition to that, I have selected create a quick launch shortcut. And there are other options already sent here. Just click on next. Now it started installing part. Is there anyone finding any difficulty with regard to the any of the steps? By the time it's installed, please let me know one or two people if you have any problems. Now, I hope you can see here, I have just successfully completed installing the R for Windows. Just click on finish. Now, we have successfully installed R. You can look at my desktop. R 4.3.3 Windows. This is the one. We have it on desktop. Now, R Studio. R Studio download. In your URL, if you can type rstudio.com, yeah. So after just typing rstudio.com, just click on enter. Little bit complicated one, but not very really, nothing to worry about it. As you can see that right now, the moment I click on URL rstudio.com, this is a web page I got it. Okay, this is a web page we got it. Just click on download rstudio. Just click on download R Studio. Now, please scroll your cursor. After clicking download R Studio, just click on only one time. Then scroll your cursor. 
you are going to download r studio desktop you are going to download r studio desktop for that within that we have two types of uh, desktop versions one is free r studio desktop second one is uh, pro so as you are going to install free version just click on r studio desktop free version just click on free version after clicking on the free version just look at here again scroll your cursor as we already installed r studio i'm sorry installed r right now we are going to install r studio here download r studio desktop for windows just click there now we got the new progress as you can see the new dialog box is asking where to save the r studio so i'm saying that i want to save this r studio file on desktop Okay. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Just click on open. After downloading, just click on open. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Welcome to our studio setup. Next. Choose installation location. Next. Our studio is going to install as may as a main. Choose the start menu folder. Yes. Install. Now completing the R Studio setup. Just finish. You can see your desktop. We have installed our four point three point three Windows, and we also installed our Studio version. Now. I hope all of you have installed it successfully. Those are using, uh, those are seeing my screen. Just look at my screen here. I'm just typing here. R Studio. I opened the uh, start. I'm selecting this R Studio. I'm selecting the R Studio. Yeah. Now we got the R Studio. Please type. Install. I have already given. Uh, I have already typed it in your WhatsApp group. Please, you can uh, copy it also. Simply, you can copy and paste it. Otherwise, simply type install. The moment you type install, the moment you type install, it is showing the options. I am choosing the first option. Install packages. Friends, after opening the R Studio, you have to give some cup. Now just type install our packages. Okay. This is the way one has to open Biblio Shiny. Okay. Install our packages. Just uh, select it. And we got install dot packages. And we have some parentheses. Now within parentheses, keep double inverted commas. Type Biblio metrics. Please check your uh, spelling mistake spellings. If there are any spelling mistakes, I, I already typed it in WhatsApp group. You can simply copy it. Install dot packages. That parentheses is available. Within that parentheses, just keep double inverted commas. Within that, with the inverted commas, write down biblo metrics. And just with the help of your cursor, just come out of the parentheses. After typing it, just click on enter. Just click on enter. Okay. Just wait for a couple of seconds. Just wait for a couple of seconds. Now the we have installed packages bibliometrics. Now it is showing that we have to go to download. We have to go to library uh, packages. Just type library. Next command. Just type library. The moment I started downloading uh, typing library, I got uh, int library i got it next to library again there is a parenthesis this time i am not putting inverted commas simply i am going to type biblo metrics the moment i type four to five letters i got some hint i am just selecting that particular biblo metrics okay 
just come out of that uh, parenthesis just come out of the parenthesis just click on enter just wait for a few seconds just wait for a few seconds now you can see the new progress to start with the biblo shiny app please visit biblo shiny now please type biblo shiny Biblo Shiny. Okay, now we got Biblo Shiny. Just come out of the parenthesis. Just click on enter. Just click on enter. I hope it is clear to all.